Hi FlossTube, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 47. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is a channel about cross stitch. I hope you like, uh, you like what you see, stick around, like, subscribe, comment, interact, do all the things. If you are returning, thank you so much for choosing to spend more time with me um, and uh, watching me on this journey. So let's jump in. So a um, couple of updates. One, I talked to you guys about uh, the silicone ring. Uh, mine came in the mail, loving it. Uh, yeah, so uh, it, it actually, I, I chose the silver, so, cause I wear white gold and it like, uh, some people didn't even know. They were like, what? <laughs> so that was kind of cool. And I, I do feel safer at work. Uh, my finger's still a little swollen, but um, safer. Um, I had only one day off this weekend and my husband and I chose to do some projects. Um, we like to call them team building projects or marriage counseling projects or whatever. But we had a ceiling fan that went out and I cannot sleep without a ceiling fan on. So that had to be fixed ASAP and we ended up doing two of them. So um, I put the blades on and do all the pre-assembly. He does the wiring and whatnot. But anyway, uh, we joke about it. It's always a good thing for us to do little projects like that together sometimes. Other than that, my daughter has uh, one full week under her belt at uh, her new job and she is loving it. She's tired and sore, but she's loving it. My oldest son started his new job um, yesterday. And uh, I don't know that I mentioned on here before that he is uh, working at like a, a, oh my gosh, like a car automobile works place here in town, in my small town. And his first day on the job was just, just cut up tires all day long with the saws all. So um, he experienced probably real manual labor for the first time. <laughs> but he went back for day two. So uh, my kids got regist full, registered for school yesterday and we're set to go. That starts next Monday. Um, so other than that, that's, that's it for my family updates. Um, well, my dad, we're just still trucking along. I get to go see him today as soon as I'm done recording this and taking lunch and I'm um, super excited about that. So, um, but let's get into stitching. That's what you're here for. So I, um, have a finish. I told you I was gunning for one and I succeeded. So it is the ABCs by Little House Needleworks. And this is their autumn one. And that's the whole thing, but I'm gonna come in closer so you can see. I made a few changes. You can hear my dog playing with a toy in the background, sorry. Um, I made a few changes. It was basically to some of the oranges. Uh, and I wanted to incorporate purple, so I had to pop it in a few spots. Like I put it in the center of the quilt and the little patches on the knees. And I know you can't see it great in here, but I just wanted a little purple in there. So. I am super excited about how that turned out. I love it. So one more season and, and that's a wrap. <laughs> so, um, now as far as stitching goes, Gabby, please stop. As far as stitching goes, um, let's jump in. I actually have a lot that I touched this week, so I'm super excited to show them to you. First, I haven't stitched on this in quite a while. I'm not going in a crazy particular order, but um, for the month of August, I'm hoping to stitch on this every single day and finish it up. And it is the stitch along with the um, st stitching with the Sisterly's Suffrage Act. So this is what the chart looks like. And I am stitching it on 32 count can Sand Castle Joblin. And this is where I'm at. Uh, when I saw you, la basically what I've done since I saw you last is the word vote and all those little stars. So popping it in and hopefully that is done. If I can get that done, um, my plans are Cinnamon Stars is going to be my daily stitch after that. But I'm not locking that down yet. <laughs> just, a, just a minor little plan. So. My next one that I stitch on every single week is my One Nation, One Nation Sal. So this is what it looks like. It is on a 32 count vintage country mocha. And this is where I'm at. This is getting almost impossible to show you all at once. So this is where I'm at. <laughs> I am never gonna brag about having a short state again. Remember a couple weeks ago when I said Iowa? Oh, that was a short quick stitch. It sure was. And then I was tortured with long um, state names after that. So yeah, um, but it's coming along uh, and I'm loving it. Again, I've had several people reach out and say, oh, we're going to start that. Oh, I've got that pattern. I'm pulling it out. Do. It's fun. I love 
Um, I love the breaking it down. I love seeing everybody's progress. I love seeing how people are in different places um, on their, their chart. It's really kind of cool. Um, my next one, I only touched a tiny bit more. I really was hoping for a finish in the month of July, and then when it didn't come to fruitation, I was just like, eh, I'll get to it. So um, this is my Old Glory by Little House Needlework, and it is stitched on a 28-count linen that I dyed, so it, I don't have any color for you. Um, but I basically put the bird in, and I think the reason I got stumped on it was I fiddled with colors, uh, so that's a color change too. I, I told you before, the word Old Glory is supposed to be the color of the flag, and then... Um, this pole, which is a green and brown, was supposed to be the color of the bird, and I just didn't like how it turned out, so I ripped it out and made it how I liked it. So I think I changed it to blackbird as the color. This next one, you were with me, if you're with me through Jolly July, or whatever we called that, um, I stitched on my Christmas list every single day, and I'm happy with the progress, but I am taking it out for right now. I'll I don't know what I'll stitch on the 25th. It may be this, it may be Noel, but um, this is what it's supposed to look like. I'm stitching it on an even, um, even or Silk Weavers 32 count winter blizzard opalescent that I tea dyed just to give it a little uh, wintry look. So since you have seen it last, I added um, peace and goodwill. I forgot what it was. Um, so. I am happy with it. I believe this is somewhere in here is the halfway point. So um, if I don't get any farther on it, I probably will definitely do this as a daily in December. So it wouldn't be on display for this year, but I would do Christmas stitching in December. But we'll see. Um, the next one, the third part of uh, Positivity Rules dropped. I am far behind on this, but... Um, I added the rest of the word patience in there and one of the more of the box window boxes um, for semi sane stitchers right now I'm doing I think I've told you this before I know I have but um, the alphabet alphabet soup is what it's called so P is the week for the next two weeks so I'm gonna touch on this um, and see where I can get cuz positively rules P yay all right, my next one um, is another stitch along from Stitch Up, Stitch Anom, Stitch OMG. It's the Fantastic Fungi, and I'm tongue tied right now, and I'm just not even gonna try again because I'm. <laughs> it's the mushrooms. That's what I call it. I literally call it the mushroom chart. So the border is in a um, glow in the dark. And I finished this little second mushroom there. I am far behind on this also. Um, but I don't know. Stitch alongs aren't working for me right now. But I'm still signing up because I like the patterns. And it is what it is. So there you go. Um, this is going to be a totally short video. So I don't know if I'm talking super fast. Just because I'm so excited to go take, see my dad and have lunch and stuff. But it, I love you. I'm just super crazy fast today. Um, all right, every month I do the Snowflower Diaries um, monthly chart, and <laughs> this is pathetic. This is all I have to show you. I know we're only a few days into August, but I literally wrote the word August. There you go. <laughs> I have a plan for this chart, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Look at that dog. It looks to me like a Border Collie. Um, I don't, not super good with dog breeds, but that's what it looks like to me, but... Uh, I know you've seen guest appearances before with my dogs. So, here's the deal. I went on Etsy, and I don't know how I found this, um, but I'm going to change that dog to probably my German Shepherd, who, um, I don't know, she's just the baby right now. <laughs> so, but I, I printed out, this is my haul for the week too. So, I printed out um, all three breeds that I have. So, this is the German Shepherd chart, and I'm going to have to modify it still because my German Shepherd is really a mix between those. I don't know if it's because she's still so young. She hasn't turned one color. She's my first German Shepherd, so I really don't know about these things. But um, anyway, the designer of this is Mary Rova. I don't know. 
I'm gonna put that here if I am a good girl and I edit before I leave for lunch. <laughs> so German Shepherd. And then the second breed is my Black Lab. And then the third breed is my Sweet Pomeranian. Now my Pomeranian is a Pomeranian Shih Tzu mix. So, um, which is why she, he has the, um, the brown color and, and the head and the spots and uh, white. So I, I would modify this also to have the personality. So when I showed these to my daughter, she was like, oh, you have to do. So I'll probably do just stitch all these little guys in a row also besides the chart that I have um, for August where I'm going to just put the German on it. So um, that was my haul for the week. <laughs> Exciting, huh? Um, I'm like the um girl today. The only other thing I did was uh, we are going to be putting uh, different flooring in my room that I sit in, record in. In my house, we call it my room. Um, so I had had my sewing machine set up and been being really lazy about making these few project bags. I don't need project bags, but I make them because I'm addicted. But uh, I had uh, get, sent my out for my 1,000 subscriber, and I had enough material to make myself one too, so that I could have matching bags with my peeps. So I'm gonna show you what I made, and then the sewing machine is put away because this floor has gotta get taken care of, hopefully in the next few weeks. But I did my lemon bag, and I did my watermelon bag. But then I couldn't help myself with this fabric. Oh, and my daughter's like, I'm stealing that. No, she's not. And the last one is a bee bag. So, just a couple more bags. I don't know. Maybe I need to get on a kitten up thing. But that was, that's it. That's haul. That's the bags I made. But I don't have anything else um, going on. Oh, snap. Made by Michelle McGraw. I was talking about my uh, cards. And you saw me refer to these. Okay, I'm, before we... Talk about plans. I'm going to jump in and talk about this. I hope you have stuck around this long um, for me to talk about this. Uh, I have one of these cards in every single bag, uh, project bag I have, because I do not do good with the traveling journal and stuff because I take some of these in the car with me and I take them to work and then I have them at home and all the things. So for me, it's easier to put one of these with the project. And what I do is I am not a timekeeper on my projects of like, oh, I worked on that 14 hours. Oh, I worked on that 121 hours. But I do like to keep track of like how often or what I touched or whatnot. So what I do here is um, on the side here, I put the name of the project and then I like would put 2020 on the top. And I do have some that are older, like 2019, blah, blah, blah. Um, but so for 2020, let's give you that example. If I started that one here, let's say I used a black pen. When I switched over to 2021, I would color in these whole, these circles with like a blue plant pen or a red pen or something like that, just so that I knew what year it was, blah, blah, blah. If I took over a year to do these things. Um, and then on the back, mine is blank just because I didn't want the pain in the booty of, uh, putting them through the printer the same way. Uh, and just because I don't really know how to do a lot of that electronic stuff. So what I do on the back of these, and I don't know if I can grab one to show you. Let me show you Christmas. Dig, dig, dig. Okay. So see how this would have been started in 2019, the black circles, and then the red circles are because I did it in 2020. But on the back, I have written like start date. It usually says finish date. I actually threw this sticker on from the fabric and then down here I write what pattern it is and what fabric I've used and any kind of notes. Now this is also where I would know if I changed um, different fibers or threads or whatnot. Um, I'm not super good at that all the time and you know that if you've watched me for a while. Like I was like, oh I just wanted to put some purple in. I don't even have a clue what color that purple was. I just put purple in. But um, the point of this is that if I was really good at putting those thread colors down and somebody wanted to know what did you use, I could actually give you that. Um, so I am pretty confident usually on my 
material, not always on my um, threads, sorry. But anyway, so this is just, I just wanna explain it more of it, why I, I just did that. So um, like on that semi saying that I talk about, that I'm in that group, I, there, there's challenges where you can keep track of hours and there's some challenge or, or not just hours, I'm wrong, counting. I, I don't, I don't sit and count my threads, so, or crosses. So the only challenges I get into in that semi saying are non-counting challenges to where it's like, just work on alphabet soup is the letter P and that's for two weeks. Just show progress on it. So you take a before picture, you take an after picture and, um, and that's the, the one I like to play along with, if that makes any sense. But I wanted to explain this more. Um, some people have mentioned, uh, they see me, like, when I'm talking about things, they'll see me read from a card, and that, that's what it is. So uh, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, shoot me a question. I don't have, I, I'll I answer anything as best as I can. So other than that, all right, that's that. So let's move into plans. I had mentioned Suffrage Act. I'm going to do that daily. Um positivity rules. I'm going to try to do that for 30 minutes a day. I haven't done it so far, but I'm getting there. Um, and it is still summer out and I feel like, I don't know if I, oh, let me see if I, I this was a freebie off of a blog of the world in stitches. I Googled it to make sure that it wasn't one of those like stealing patterns and stuff because that freaks me out. But, um, they have Free, it says a free cross stitch start called Beach Theme. It's a series. So there's one. I'm going to just flash it. Real, oh, no. Here's what I'm going to do. There's an actual printed picture. There, it's these three. There's a sand castle, a little beach house, and a beach umbrella. And I like how that's displayed. And I'm liking those colors. So I may start this just so I can have a little bright, bright stitching going on. I know positively it's bright, but beach stitching. Maybe that's the word to say. So that's really my plans. Um, just keep trucking along and doing my thing. So I hope that makes sense. And I didn't like sound all cray cray, but, um, other than that, that's all I've got. So, uh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of like all over the place here. I, like I said, I'm going to try to get these edits in real quick where I, I put the words where I need them in here and get this posted so that I can go have lunch with my dad. So I love you all. I, I, uh, I can't express how much. You guys are such an amazing group. Um, Cross-stitching is the thing that helps me keep my calm. And it does bring joy to my life. So I hope you all enjoy it as much as I do and uh, are, are getting in some stitches. So um, I'm just going to wish you uh, the best. So uh, keep stitching. I'm going to tell you enjoy life to the fullest. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye.